30 years ago I invented the Dynafit Low-Tech binding to celebrate the anniversary of 30 years of Low-Tech. I'm going to send a pair of the new Radical 2 bindings to the North American athletes so that they can experience this in their home mountains. I think where North America in general inspires Europeans and, and, the, and the culture of the sport is exploration and that feeling of that kind of wild west. People talk about these locations like they're getting overrun because there's, you know, you see them in these videos and stuff and then you talk to somebody about the reality, especially in Montana and places like that, there's nobody around, you know, which is cool. You know? Cook City is um, a magical little nook on the edge of Yellowstone. I love the exploratory feel of the skiing around here. Um, there's just so much and um, there's not too many people around uh, really venturing off the beaten path. There was a lot of exploration here in the 80s and the 90s when Alex Lowe and Hans Sari and Chris Erickson were you know, skiing new routes all over the area and since then there's been some skiing but um, just not as many people out getting after it real deep in the backcountry so it's been fun to revisit a lot of those lines and um, ski descents that they did back in the day and um, find new ones too. I think people that really love backcountry skiing and skiing uphill all have just common understanding and love for adventure and for working really hard to have these unique experiences. And I think that's what connects us all. You know, it was really crazy to see when I started racing, taking my bindings out on the pass and people making fun of me because I'm on these super low tech bindings and people are like, there's no way you can ski them. Like, and I'm like, oh yeah, well, I'm, go I'm going to, you know? And, and to see like those people make fun of me, you know, like four years ago, and now, like, to see everybody else out on them and be like, ah, oh, I told you so, like. <laughs> I think most things in life that are worthwhile are hard. And that's why I love backcountry skiing and skiing uphill. So in the mountains, speed is safety, and the lighter you can make your rig while still having it perform the way you need, the safer you can be, the faster you can travel. It's just really cool to see DinaFit coming from this like innovative, lightweight technology and applying that to free touring and free riding and, and more of the, the style of skiing that we're doing here in North America. I mean, don't get me wrong, we like to go light and fast, but we also like to, to surf and to play and to be able to like take the gear to ski spines in Alaska or coolars in like the Montana backcountry. Get up on top of the mountains and you look around and you're like oh look at that look at this cool art. look over there you know how do you get there and i think that's pretty you know that's fun it's part of the adventure don't know till you go you know you're in a remote area you don't really see a lot of people and i think we all really like getting out to those zones where you know it's just you and one other person and, and just being where we are it's magical The new bindings served us well in Montana. Sending them off to Crested Butte. Have fun, Marshall.